I might be able to, I'm just making sure that there's a template left and right. My little tag. Bar. So right now I'm just getting my material together for the tab that, well, for this template I've made here in the moment with some help from my father. I'm just gonna cut it out with a grinder and try to use like a band saw metal blade but do what you gotta do and then we gotta figure out the cuts and the thing and then pulling out the bar and then welding these together welding it to the fabricated uh, brackets I call it and I got a shock strut tower rear cross member bar that's hooked in place here I'll show you the other side My bar bracket. That's just steel and then a little rubber. We're just gonna make it a little bit more um, secure and kind of rigid up in the back here, just for fun, frankly, and for fabrication uh, seat time kind of fun too it'll be hidden behind the seat you won't see this at all but it does make my car also able to load load up a little bit more which is kind of fun sometimes when you need it because now it is a hatchback all right I'm gonna get back into grinding and shaping and blah 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 I'm gonna make that guy that's cardboard under the steel stock that's a steel gas tube, so it'll, not gas, but it's for a uh, plumber to use for the gas line. That's pretty rigid, solid, steam, or, you know, steel. Might paint it in the end, but this is just fabrication time. All right. All right, so yesterday was really just creating this design here. <clears throat> what we ended up going with was, you know, cardboard, of course. These are our two bolts. Here's our center bit. That's the uh, shock strut tower through that connects to your, sh your actual shock itself, bolt top. That is essentially where we're going to hit our bar up to our next bar. That's the top one, right? Our angle. So what, what we had was this this thick plate steel it's actually working out pretty good but I didn't want to show you I'm struggling but this is how I started this was the one I've done so the way it works is you have a left and a right obviously so this one if we're, I'm actually in the trunk right now if you can imagine so right hand side of the trunk this goes here. That's basically where the bar goes. But what we decided to do, cause we just, this had a uh, little helpful thing. We're actually gonna connect them together with a little 90 that's already built in. It's got a little, you know, strengthening V knocked into her. And she worked out pretty good to just take out this bit. It's a little wasteful, but like if we took it other places, there's just holes and other things to deal with, so. You know, this is essentially scrap yard again. But so to do right, you do that. And then obviously to do the other side, all you gotta do is flip it over, okay? Which is why this one is like this. But as you can see, I made, it's still got, you know, some to, to trim off. But I didn't do the interior here as well as I want. And it's a hard thing to use the grinder in here. Because what I've been doing is cutting it out of its shape, right? Bring it from this, and then going tighter like a grinder, right? So 
so I, get, I got it pretty damn close to the way it needs to be, but it just needs the center a little bit better, and I left a little bit more meat in the back into here, because I don't see that being a problem. I just gotta make sure that the center bit and the two dots really work, and then the outside, I gotta trim a little bit more off of this side than I do that side. what I gotta do but I really I could leave a little bit of that I just gotta double check there we go. I'm gonna do the center so my epiphany yesterday after busting butt on that is why don't I center tap a hole here and cut this circle out with a hole saw right because that that is the one that needs to be a pretty much perfect circle this you can kind of work around a little bit so I'm just gonna cut through here and then I might use a jigsaw instead of a grinder bit. Because if you can imagine the way that I worked on it, I draw my, you draw your lines like this. You like find a close line that, that works across an angle that'll get you from here to here. And then you try to go from there to there, there to there, all in straight lines. And then you trim off the extra that is left, which are the angles that your grinder leaves, right? These are just super dangerous and I highly, highly recommend you don't use it if you're not good with this tool. So, this is my just <coughs> reference point front and back. Um, so if you can imagine, shock strut tower, two bolts, tab for going from here up to the bar. And, uh, We'll see, it's just uh, little by little. And then whenever you're working on stuff like this, you figure things out a little better. I guess still, like I said, I gotta take out this. A little bit more in there, more important than the outsides being a little fat. And then, uh, yeah, which are gonna be potentially cutting the bars that go between here and the top and uh, seeing how I'll mesh them together with this little fin that I have here. Cause I could cut a slot into the, um, steel bar well steel tube and uh, slide this in it and then drill through through both of them and then weld together all of them you know with the hole being the one that goes through all and you're welding from both sides and then you weld the, the ends and the edges so we'll see how that goes but again it's just it, it's up to you and how you want to do things this works but I'm gonna attempt doing the whole saw cut. And then maybe a jigsaw with the metal blade. Cause this is actually not crazy hard steel, luckily. <laughs> so, but uh, but it's it's strong enough for damn sure. And I need to, you need to stay with the same metallurgy if you're gonna be welding shit together, really. It's the only way to do it. You can't mesh steel and aluminum as far as I understand, unless you're some magician. 